Another day, another Z690 board that needs dissecting, and today on the chopping block, we have the ASRock Z690 PG Riptide. I am being told that the PG stands for Phantom Gaming, but I like to imagine that you need a parent or guardian to even look at this board, so uh... Hope we have one of those around. With a price tag of just $180, it's definitely a very budget Z690 board, and for that price, it actually does a lot of stuff really, really well. For starters, when it comes to PCIe connectivity, naturally it has a high-speed PCIe Gen 5 slot, alongside another physical 16x PCIe Gen 4 slot, plus three additional PCIe 1 Add to that three and not two slots for your NVMe SSDs and one for a Wi-Fi card and you honestly have everything you could ever need in a motherboard at this price range. So far so good, but things turn a bit more sour when you go up and look at the CPU power situation. This board features 13 phases at 55 amps, which definitely isn't the worst thing and will most likely keep your CPU fed no matter what you have even if it's something like a 12900K. Though especially on such high-end CPUs, combined with the minimal cooling, you might run into VRM heat issues very, very fast. And if you want to overclock those high-end chips, well, it is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Though at least it has both a 8-pin and a 4-pin for CPU power, so uh, that's a bonus, I guess. Next up, when it comes to rear I.O., here things are a bit, well, uh, underwhelming. Firstly, you only have six USB Type-A ports, which for some people might be enough, but for others, seeing how many USB Type-A devices we still use, it can be a bit challenging. But hey, at least we have an also important PS2 port on it, so uh, that makes up for it. Add to that HDMI for onboard graphics, 2.5 gig Ethernet, and a lightning fast USB Type C. And rear IO wise, it's definitely nothing too incredible, but also nothing that you can really complain about either. And then there's the biggest selling point of this motherboard this thing that's awkwardly hanging off the side. This is a PCIe card bracket that's mainly intended to prevent GPU sag. You just kind of screw your graphics card in there and voila, you have another anchor point to your motherboard so your heavy graphics card doesn't sag, which is actually kind of smart. And seeing how cheap the board already is, it's kind of cool to see that they're throwing in something like this even on such a budget board. So all in all, this board seems pretty good for the price, right? And while it is a pretty decent budget Z690 board, its main issue is that it has to share a price bracket with some of the most high-end B660 boards, and that includes the amazing Eurus B660 Master, which I covered on the channel before. With that board, you get so many extra features, including 16 phases running at 60 amps, not to mention 9 USB Type-A ports, so you're gonna have USB for days. But that Eurus board doesn't have a graphics card bracket, so uh... Take that Aorus, I guess. And seeing how that board costs just $10 more, well, it's very hard to recommend this board when it's being surrounded by so many other great options, both in B660 and also some more expensive C690 boards. But if $180 is your strict limit, then it is still a fantastic board that will get you a long way no matter what 12th gen Intel CPU you have. So hey, it could be worse. So if you want to buy this board yourself, then our Amazon links to it are going to be down in the video description below. And hey, if you found this video useful and you want to help support this channel, then the best way to do that is to support us on Patreon. Because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Kevin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it is, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.